Okay, this video is for you to figure out how to calculate percentages for Project 2. At this point, what you've got is you've got 30 completed questionnaires, minimal. You might end up having more depending upon whether or not some people did it, uh, did it as an online, uh, online type of, uh, of survey. Uh, but if you did it where you handed them out, you've got uh, ideally 30 completed questionnaires, and you get a pile of them. Uh, now, at this point, you need to think about whether or not you are deciding to, like if you handed half of them out to males and half to females, and you have two piles uh, that are 15 each. Uh, so you have to think about how you have them separated out and into, and they're, they're actually going to physically be different piles. Uh, what you're going to do then next is you're going to take the uh, the completed questionnaires in the piles and you're going to get a clean copy of a questionnaire for each pile because what you're going to do is you're going to make tally marks you've seen them like one two three four five where you slash across for the fifth one and and what you're going to do is you're going to go through you're going to pick up one questionnaire and have the clean copy and see how did they answer number one right your first question and they said say they said uh, strongly agree so under strongly agree on your clean copy you make one tally mark then you go to the next question that they had and you say how did they answer that one well they said four so you mark under four you make one mark and you continue to do that down then you turn the page over where you got your uh, or to the next page where you have your demographics and it says you know you go by age and like what what were their age, what were the, what was the age of the person and you write that down up at the top with a comma and then for the rest of those you do that accordingly you make tally marks or or whatever is appropriate then uh, you set that aside you pick up the next one in that pile and you do exactly the same thing until all of those are done then you have a clean copy of your questionnaire with with a bunch of tally marks so what you'll end up with uh, is down here, as you can see, uh, I have a kind of an example one. I, I didn't have tally marks down here, but this is, uh, if you can see, it says, I believe a woman should have a right, should be able to have a safe and legal abortion then for any reason. Then this one would have had, what this number here signifies is that you would have had 10 tally marks on number one. 10 people said strongly agree. 10 people said agree, right, number two, and 10 people said four, which is disagree. Nobody said strongly disagree or they were neutral in this particular case. This is just hypothetical. Now, assuming that you, that you uh, had 30 completed questionnaires, and this is just one, this is an example where you just have one pile. Uh, 10 people out of 30 said uh, that they strongly agree. So how do you calculate that? You divide 10 divided by 30, and that gives you, it'll give you actually, uh, I'll scroll down a little bit so you can see, 10 divided by 30, you'll, in your, on your calculator, it'll say 0.3333 continuing. That equals, when you move the decimal point over two spaces to get your percentage, uh, you'll end up with 33.3%. Uh, and that's that's is for our purposes. That's as far as you really need to go with it. So you round up to the to the hundredth place. So if it was, uh, as you can see on the example here, if it was three point three four seven six, that would be thirty four point eight percent, because the seven uh, is followed by a six, which means that you round the seven up to an eight. So you would have thirty four point eight percent. So now if if you are uh, using uh, different piles and for example if you have uh, in, if you had uh, 15 people and, it, and each one of these say was was five and the number you would ha you would have to divide by the number in that pile because that's the the subsample of the sample because you if you want to know how many people say that these are males that answered this and you wanted to know um, what percentage of males answered strongly agree and we'll say it was five people said instead of ten uh, because we're just dividing everything in half uh, 
you, ha you would have to div not divide it by the 30 of your total sample, you divide it by 15, which is the number of, uh, in that pile, right? So if you have different piles, you have to divide it by the number of people that are in that pile, not in the whole sample, okay? So that is, uh, you know, once you get all that, you'll have, you just on your clean copies, just simply write in those percentages as you calculate them. And so you'll have, in the end, a sheet of paper that will have on each thing that was answered all the way down percentages. Of course, the ones that, that, that people don't answer at all are 0%. And that's, you know, some people are going to have, you might have people that have very strongly agree strong, all, and all strongly disagree. All the rest of them are zeros. Uh, I know that seems obvious, but, you know, it's better to say it than to assume that you know that. Um, so, because zero, nobody answered it, so it was zero percentage. Um, all right, so you'll have a sheet, and you know, mark it accordingly. So you, so that later on, when you when you have to refer back to it, that you know that this was the female pile, or the male pile, or the ten, or the uh, uh, twenty, twenty-one to twenty-five year olds, or whatever, whatever that pile is, or friends, or family, or whatever that individual pile, however you're separating it, if you're separating it. If you're just doing it all together, it's the easiest way to do it, obviously. Uh, you're just dividing by 30 every time. Because you have 30 people in that pile, you're putting all of it together, and you're just calculating that way. Okay? So, the next thing that we'll, we'll do after this, after you've got all of that, is we'll figure out how to, to start thinking about writing your paper uh, now that you've got this.